everyone welcome to my channel this is Brian Powell and today we are doing a visual diary vlog over the weekend I went on this awesome amazing hike that just really taught me a lot about life God is giving me patience but he's also training me up in this season and I thought this would be the perfect way to just show my community what it looks like to trust God I believe that God is telling me to be still and trust that he is a God that will provide all of my needs met. So this week you will see me fasting, self-caring, loving myself, taking care of my children, and just really truly valuing the woman that I am and everything that God has given me. I am so grateful and thankful to be this beautiful creation in God. So sit back and enjoy and hopefully you learn a beautiful lesson. So, I'm about to pass for the next seven days. So I'm gonna take you guys along with me on this journey. Um, make sure you guys subscribe and turn on your post notification bell because what God is doing, I have no control over it. So I just want you guys to make sure you catch it. Turn on your post notification bell because yeah, there's a transformation happening. I just want to thank God in advance for it. I'm learning that it's so, so important to know the word of God. That's why I tell you guys, like, get in your word, pray. This is real life. Spiritual warfare is weird. Spiritual warfare is weird. Ugh. Spiritual warfare is real. The devil is real. Principalities and powers are real. And the enemy, he attacks in the most sneaky ways. But when you're grounded in your word, see, he's trying to make me. <clears throat> when you're grounded in your word, and you know the word, not only in your mind, but in your heart, the word will speak out of your mouth. And then that way you don't allow those things that the enemy try to sneakily attack you with take over what the word of God says so yeah for fasting I pray you learn something I pray this helps you grow your faith I pray that this helps you know God that's what I'm doing it for so I love you guys. I'll talk to you in a little bit. From Jesus, it all comes from the King of Kings and the Lord. <laughs> Mama, I want to go really. I cannot worry. I have to trust and believe that God is really taking care of me. I know you hear me say that all the time. And I know I remind you guys that all the time, but I have to remind myself that I serve such a good God that my life is going to be great. And I don't have to worry or fear or be upset or worried. I just have to trust God. I have to trust God. When I'm in fasting, I definitely pray more than I pray regularly. I pray pretty normally, but when I'm in this time with God, I rest in Him. I read my word, I pray, I think, I just get off social media, I disconnect from everything because it's important. skills for battle. He is my loving ally and my fortress, my tower of safety and rescue. 
He is my shield and I seek refuge in him. He makes the nations submit to me. This word literally just said in Psalm 144, that praise the Lord who is my rock, meaning God is your foundation. He's solid, he ain't gonna move. He trains my hand for war, he prepares you. He takes you through some things so that you can be prepared for battle. He gives my fingers skills for battle. He is a loving alley in my fortress, my tower of safety, my rescuer. God will always save and rescue you. If you really trust in him, if you really rely on him and you are doing his will over, yeah, his will over your life, he will continue to rescue you. He will continue to be there for you. He is my shield and I take refuge in him. He makes the nation submit to me. It's God alone, the fact that you're getting any type of glory. And even when you're getting any type of glory or praise, you need to automatically, automatically give the praise to God. Because we as humans, we try to take credit for the things that God does. And we can't do that. It's day four and watching my daughter climb this wall with no fear literally brought joy to me and it helped me think about God and his goodness and how he gives us the authority and the tools to go and do the purpose and plan he has called us to with no fear, no worry because he is in control. Intimacy with God is key. You have to be in a relationship with God in order to really hear and seek Him at a max level. And when I say that, I mean like you have to be in your word and prayer and constant communication with God to really hear the purpose and the plan that He has for your life and the things that He desires you to do. Sometimes it can be hard because I know I have several thoughts in my head at one time. And I'm starting to get specific with God and asking him to clear my mind of things that are not of him and to help me set my mindset on kingdom-like things. If it doesn't bring me joy, I'm not doing it no more. I am now leaving the place of pleasing people and pleasing man, and I'm now pleasing God. So that means anything, any person that feels like I'm not good enough for them or feels like I interrupt their space or their atmosphere, I'm moving on and I'm focusing on the things that love me back. giving. I am such a loving and giving person. But now God is having me give in my ministry and it's been awesome and amazing to connect with people from all over the world. Thank you for watching this seven day fast with me. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn on your post notification bell and I'll see you guys next time.